Today, I wanted to discuss one of the strangest discoveries coming out of the Gaia Space Telescope. A discovery of a very strange family of stars we've never seen before that's currently extremely difficult to explain and seems to be the first such family discovered in the last few decades. And so in this video, let's discuss exactly what Gaia discovered and of course talk about what this means, why this is important and what we know so far. But first, let's start with the study. As always, you can find this in the description. But here, the study by Dylan Hewson and the team you see in front of you, researchers were able to use the data from Gaia Telescope in a completely new and somewhat exciting way. And in case you are not familiar with this mission, or in case you don't know what exactly happened here, up until relatively recently, Gaia was one of the most complex space telescopes by the European Space Agency. And I'm saying was because this mission was recently finally retired. And during this time, Gaia observed billions and billions of different objects moving across the night skies and used a technique known as astrometry to observe precise motion of each individual object. And here astrometry is basically a technique where you try to find minute motions of something as it either moves or wobbles as a result of gravity. And Gaia was able to do this or basically to observe this motion for billions of different objects, even discovering exact distance to each of them and providing a lot of additional data. You can learn about some of the major discoveries from this mission in one of the recent videos in the description. But during years of operation, Gaia was able to observe so many objects and collected so much data that even now only three data releases have been completed. We actually expect the fourth release sometimes next year in 2026 and the last one possibly in the next five years from today. So possibly at the end of 2030. And that basically highlights how much data this telescope was able to collect and how many various objects it was able to analyze. And when it comes to our own galaxy, one of the main discoveries coming from Gaia was really in regards to discovering various types of structures and various types of star families that could now be connected into one single image and could now be used for basically galactic archaeology. Or essentially to discover how the Milky Way galaxy evolved over time by discovering these literally ancient bones inside the galaxy represented as various stellar streams and stellar families. And that's because normally a lot of stars start their life together and very often also continue their life as some kind of a cluster or some kind of a constellation of stars. And so for some star clusters it may take them millions or even billions of years to finally fall apart. As a matter of fact, for a smaller average sized star cluster it might take it approximately 200 to maybe 500 million years to completely dissipate. But until then, they usually travel as a single group, which Gaia Telescope was extremely good at detecting. And so in the last few years, researchers observed various strings of stars and various star clusters stretching across the entire galaxy, forming these ancient structures. Many of them, like the famous stellar streams, turn out to be leftovers from ancient destroyed galaxies galaxies that combined with the Milky Way. But in this recent study, researchers decided to focus on something slightly different. Here they developed a new model to explore the Gaia catalog by focusing on younger, low-mass stars in a relative proximity to the solar system. And so they created a model known as Gaia Net, a model that was able to go through millions and even billions of different stars in a catalog and identify specific members based on very specific parameters. In this case though, they mostly focused on young stars. Stars whose age was less than 20 million years old, suggesting that all of them were baby stars, barely developed and still forming planets. And strangely enough, approximately a thousand stars really stood out. Here they identified approximately thousand members inside one of the families that made absolutely no sense. Here, this was detected inside a famous association known as Scorpius Centaurus, one of the closest OB associations to planet Earth, known to contain quite a lot of really massive, really hot stars. And in this case, this is relatively close to us, at a distance of anywhere from 400 to 600 light years away. Intriguingly, this is also at the edge of the local bubble, the structure we recently discussed in one of the videos in the description, because something exciting was discovered about that as well. You can find the video somewhere right there. But here, this association seems to contain quite a lot of young stars, anything from approximately 11 to maybe 15 million years old, with many different stars forming star clusters, or basically star families, representing stars formed around the same time. 
And while normally they look something like this, all of the stars are going to be in a very similar region and are obviously going to be almost exactly the same age. And they often have very similar motion and are also gravitationally connected, allowing them to maintain the structure and preventing them from falling apart for millions and sometimes billions of years. But this new star association or this new star family didn't match anything else. It's now referred to as Ophion, a very massive association of approximately 1000 stars that all seem to be very similar and seem to have formed around the same time, but are all moving in very different directions. Or just to rephrase this, unlike other star associations or other star families, here the stars are not gravitationally connected at all and are actually dispersing across the galaxy in what seems to be record time. But based on the observations from Gaia and the further analysis, all of these stars seem to be basically from the same molecular cloud, or in other words, they were formed at the same time in the same location. Yet their motion is very different. They're all moving in very different directions, with the study suggesting that this entire region is going to be practically empty in the next few millions of years. So it's as if something completely exploded and completely destroyed an ancient star cluster. And for such a huge family of stars, this is super unusual. As a matter of fact, from what we see so far, this family seems to reside alongside other families or other massive star clusters that seem to be still connected and seem to be still together. And so we don't really know exactly what happened here and why this unusual family completely fell apart and has been dissipated within just a few million years. But naturally there are maybe some hints or I guess some explanations. The main one right now is possibly a set of really massive explosions. And that's because here, at a distance of 650 light years away from us, we do see signs of somewhat recent supernova and somewhat recent energetic events. And so basically, if there was a number of really massive explosions happening around the same time, they could have a chance to maybe disperse everything all at once. And so because the evidence for ancient supernova seems to be there, this is the best explanation and actually maybe the only explanation we seem to have so far. But if that's the case, we should be seeing this way more often in a lot of other systems as well. Yet at the moment this is the only such family discovered from the entire Gaia catalog and so it's not entirely clear why here and not in other molecular regions. As a matter of fact, the supernova in other molecular clouds have never really disrupted all of the stars. There's always at least a few stars that are left and at least a few stars should still maintain the cluster. As a matter of fact, this discovery potentially redefines how we think star groups and star clusters form and how they maintain themselves over time. And possibly redefines the idea of star families and star associations. Because here, even though this is a family, it's not clustered together and every single star, despite being very similar, seems to be basically completely by itself. And if it wasn't for the Gaia telescope, it would have never been discovered. Here it's only visible because of super high quality data and because of the very high observations of spectroscopy mixed with the star motion which then allowed the researchers behind the study to connect all of these stars. But for now at least, this is still a really big puzzle and a new star mystery that nobody can explain. The motion of stars in this case is actually quite chaotic and doesn't even seem to fit with the supernova explanation very well. And the stars seem to be moving all over the place, as if they just formed and decided to go on their merry way. And this is very different from a typical dispersion, which usually takes a long time and usually involves just a few stars at a time. Here, instead of a gradual dispersion, this seems to have happened all at once. And though I guess a black hole might explain some of this, so basically maybe this was dispersed and destroyed by some kind of an intermediate mass black hole, here the overall chaotic motion doesn't really seem to match that either. The velocity of each of the stars seems to be kind of random and more than 20 km per second and does not contain any pattern. The only pattern that seems to be there is basically a kind of a correlation in terms of the actual spatial over density or basically suggesting that initially these stars did come from the same location. And so exactly what happened in this particular case is very likely going to remain a mystery until we find something else somewhere else and can maybe make some links based on the observations with different telescopes. Additionally, as Gaia releases even more data, it might become possible to actually discover something else in this region that was previously missed. For now, this unusual Ophion star cluster or Ophion star family seems to be one of the strangest star associations discovered, well, really, ever. Right now it just does not make a lot of sense. 
And that means that we're going to come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who will learn about space, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.